If you're gonna use tracks on stage, you've got to have the right gear. We talked a lot on this channel about the things you need to start using tracks, how to start using in-ears and click, but I thought it would be fun as a kind of fun experiment. If I was building a playback rig from scratch, what would it cost and what would I pick? Now, I've given my suggestions uh, and my picks for gear before you can find those, go into from studiostage.com slash gear, checking out, downloading my free gear guide. But I wanna, in real time, pull up a Google Doc here and share uh, what we need and the total cost at the end of the build. Okay, so uh, if you want access to this Google Doc, you can click the link in the description in this video. And no need to share your email. You can find that and follow along. So let's take a look at, uh, at what we found here. So here's the four things we're looking at today. A computer, uh, we've got to get a version of Ableton Live, uh, an audio interface, and then a MIDI controller. Those are the four things I'm looking at for this playback rig. And let's find them, let's price them out, and uh, let's see what kind of damage we do. I'm gonna pull up my, uh, actually I'll use a calculator on my computer here and we'll keep tally of this. Okay, so first let's start with computer. Uh, Mac or PC, I mean, is it even a question? Let's be honest. I'm a Mac guy, so that's the approach I'm gonna take. Uh, the other thing when it comes to Macs, I love Mac minis and MacBook Airs, and the brand new M1 um, or M2 MacBook Air, uh, or really any brand new Mac with Apple Silicon is way plenty fast to run tracks. So you can come at me and say, Willow, why are you getting a MacBook Air when you could get a MacBook Pro? Well, because it's me, I can do what I want, and I really like the MacBook Air. So uh, let's go here and let's price this out Air. <laughs> and let's see uh, what we want to get with this. Now, another thing I mentioned, I have seen people mention that like, oh, well, the M2 is throttled or blah, 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 whatever. It's plenty fast. We're running tracks. We're not doing a whole lot with it. Uh, I don't need the fastest computer. The, the, again, any Apple Silicon Mac is going to be plenty fast. So if you're someone who cares about the fact that it's throttled or you're going to do whatever, just do whatever you're going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to stop making apologies and I'm just going to go for it. So what do we have here? Eight core. Uh, 10 core GPU. Yeah, we're going to do eight and eight. <clears throat> we're going to see what we can do RAM wise though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay on the eight core. Um, for tracks, I mean, I only really need 16. So we're going to leave it there. Okay. Uh, I am also team small hard drive. So 256 is plenty fine for me. And the other thing I should mention in this process is I'm going to build a redundant rig. So I actually need two computers. Okay. So we're going to take this guy. Uh, we're going to copy this. We'll put this under our computer here. And we're going to say, we're going to go with a MacBook Air. Uh, what's our specs that we said? 16. We'll do eight core, eight core GPU. All right. And uh, we said we're doing 16 gigs here and 256 gigs, 256 gigabytes. Okay, so that's what we're rolling with. And our price on this guy is $13.99, okay. I'm not gonna include Apple Care and tax and all that sort of stuff. We're just gonna kinda work as we go. Uh, but we're gonna do times two, and $13.99 times two is, let's see, $13.99 times two equals 27.98, okay? So 27.98 is what we're coming in at for computers, all right? Not too shabby, it's two computers. It's plenty fast. I know it's MacBook Air, but lose your preconceived notions about MacBook Air being less powerful. It's everything we need for tracks. Now, we need a version of Live, Ableton Live. So let's go to the Ableton site here, ableton.com, and we're going to go to the shop. And first off, I'm going to use the link that I have in this Google Doc that I'll post here in a moment that's an affiliate link because when I click to purchase Ableton Live, I support this channel, which is kind of a weird thing. It's like Inception if I buy it and support myself, but you can buy it and support this channel. Okay, so Ableton Live 11 standard. Uh, we're looking at 449. I don't need Suite because I'm just running tracks, so we'll do 449 for that. So we'll do version of Live, Ableton Live standard, 449. Okay. Um, not too bad so far. Audio interface. There's only one way I'm going to go if I'm creating a playback rig, in particular a playback rig where I need redundancy. You've been around this channel long enough. You, you know the answer to this. Eye connectivity. So I'm going to go over to the eye connectivity site here. We'll go to products. Actually, let's go to buy because let's see what this looks like. Eye connectivity web shop here, USA. Uh, we're going to go to, where is it? Is it on here? Play Audio 12, it's right in front of me. So you should have guessed and should have known I'm gonna pick the Play Audio 12, but that's my pick for audio interface. So we're gonna go Play Audio 12, 
and our price on that is $599. This is the most affordable, most powerful uh, audio interface for live performance. It's redundant, um, use, meaning we can use two computers and it's gonna auto switch or manually switch, but which we're gonna manually switch because I'm, I'm not a monster. Uh, and so we're gonna manually switch, we're not gonna auto switch. Uh, so there's my audio interface. Now next we need a MIDI controller. So let's see, what do we want MIDI controller eyes? Oh, I know exactly where I'm gonna go, otone.com. This is my favorite MIDI controller, and in particular, um, my favorite MIDI controller for running tracks, and that's the Oakboard Mini. Again, I'm gonna post a link in, the, uh, in that Google Doc that's an affiliate link, so if you click it, and I'll put the whole disclaimer and all the fun stuff, uh, if you click it, I'll get a percentage of your purchase, but I love this controller. It's it's custom built for playback stuff. Uh, it follows my kind of process of what I'm doing. Um, so it is, it's just the bee's knees. It's, it's super, super cool. Okay, 229 for my MIDI controller. So <clears throat> what we're looking at here to build a complete playback rig build out. Um, I've got a MacBook Air, two of them, in fact, uh, Ableton Live Standard. I've got an audio interface, a Play Audio 12, and I have a MIDI controller. Now, controversial, I'm gonna build a playback rig without a rack. Now, if I had a Mac Mini, uh, if I had a uh, Mio XM that I was racking up with my Play Audio 12, um, maybe I would consider buying a rack, but with this setup, I mean, this is a fly rig. I can throw all this in a backpack. I can pull the audio interface out of my bag uh, and plug right in. Um, so this is pretty much everything I need. Now, I could maybe look at uh, some cables to go from the Play Audio 12. Uh, I could maybe look at a hard drive if I wanted, but for now, this is gonna suit my needs just fine. Okay, so let's price all this out. Let's see what we got here uh, to, to bring all these together. So we said $27.98 for our computers plus 449 for Ableton Live, plus 599, plus 229 for our MIDI controller equals $4,075. So if I was starting fresh, if I was starting from the ground up today, uh, I'm looking at a $4,000 total to get started, which you may look at that and go, man, that's like super expensive, Will. But that gets me two computers that could also be used for other things. Gets me Ableton Live, which I could turn around and uh, use to also record with. Uh, it gives me an audio interface that gives me redundancy. Uh, a, a great MIDI controller to control my tracks. And most of all, yes, that's $4,000 investment. That's a $4,000 investment that I'm going to make money from because it's going to get me gigs and it's gonna help me stay employed because I have redundancy and know how to run tracks. So uh, if you wanna learn more about my top picks for gear and choices for gear, head to from studiostage.com slash gear. If you wanna get access to this document, click the link in the description of this video. It's completely free. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this, also free, then click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. I post new content every single day at 10 a.m. Central. I essentially don't sleep. I just eat and drink content. Uh, and it's completely free for you. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, click the links in the description uh, in that Google Doc. Uh, most of them are affiliate links, which is just a way you can support the creation of content like this. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.